I, I'd like to ask you a, a bit about mental health. I yes. know, uh, I think a lot of craftspeople have been, I, I've got quite a few friends who've been basically just locked up at home on their own for weeks and weeks yeah. and weeks without seeing anyone. Um, yeah. And that, that can be really difficult for, and I think within craft, there's probably a higher proportion of people that struggle with mental health issues. That's yeah. just what I feel anecdotally, because yeah. maybe folks find craft useful to help them work through things. Um, so is, is there anything that you do to look after your own mental health or um, uh, that you find good for you in situations like that? I think, I think what I find, um, and I'm, I'm very, very fortunate, there are some people that, and you're quite right in saying this, Robin, that there some people that have been, during this lockdown process, have just been by themselves. Um, and what a number of people believe is that craftspeople work by themselves because they want to. We do come into contact with other people. We do like to work by ourselves, but it's that interaction that we might have when we go to the store to buy something or whatever that we do like what I find what I found I should say um, my mental health works best when I identify what the problem is so sometimes when I feel I'm a little bit down um, when I feel like okay this is what I'm going through at the moment I do my best to give myself a boost and what boosts me majority of the time is music and sometimes my neighbors might think I'm a little bit um, off the shelf because I'll be blaring it out loud and anybody walking past my workshop will think what has happened to that guy? Has he hurt himself? Because the shapes that I'm cutting are, um, they won't get me on Strictly Come Dancing. I'll tell you that now because they'll be like, <laughs> you are a health and safety hazard basically. Right. Um, so I, I think for me, I found what works for me, which is just blaring the music out and dancing and just really getting it all off of me. Nice. Um, I do also find that being, um, being able to be creative is really, really good. So being able to take pictures, being able to drip some paint or do something, find a piece of furniture that really excites me, that gets yeah. my juices flowing. And that really works for me. So I think one of the biggest things that I found that has supported me has been myself and identifying where there is the problem. Because don't get me wrong, yeah. you, I could have free shows on the BBC um, and you could think everything is like, Woo, it's on the up. I'm living this champagne lifestyle. That isn't the case. Um, basically, I have down days. I have days where I just don't want to function. Um, but I know how to manage those days now. Um, and talk to people. If you are finding it hard, talk to people that can support you in some way, shape or form. The one thing that was my downfall, I would say, is I never spoke to people. I never told them about what I was going through and it was quite a lonely experience. So if you can speak to someone that's local, if not, there's people on the phone that you can speak to, do it. Um, but get back to making and get back to smiling again. That's what it's all about.